Hello everybody. Thanks for joining us today where we will be watching a hands-on demonstration by Sangamesh on the Mephos X reports. As always, I like to start with pointing you to the wiki pages and your toolkits. And of course, from that page I just showed you, you can drill down and get information on reports, your standard, your custom, and so on. If you have questions along the way and you don't quite find what you need in the documentation or you're just curious, type in your question here. This is at our Answer Hub site and the screen will populate with all of your answers or the most frequently asked, answered items. And if that still doesn't answer your question, simply click ask a question. Someone from our community gets back to you very quickly. Now I'd like to, I'd like to uh, turn the controls over to Sangamesh and have him give our hands-on demonstration. I am on the Mephos login page. Let me log in to Mephos and go to the reports. So on clicking on the reports, reports have been categorized. That is uh, clients. So this would be a client reports in the same way, loan reports, savings reports, funds reports, accounting reports. If you go, if you click on the uh, clients, then you could see all the available client reports. So we also call this as the standard reports, which are available with the core MIFOS. And in the same way, we have around 20 loan reports, um, wherein it fulfills all the organization loan report needs. And we have savings reports. Then funds. Funds are the source of fund reports. Then accounting. We have a standardized accounting reports. That is balance sheet, general ledger report, income statement, trial balance reports. Now, apart from all these standard reports, if you want to uh, create custom reports, then it's very easy to build the reports by your own. You could go to the admin system. We have a managed reports wherein you could create a a new report by yourself. So you need to click on create report. To create the report, you should be, you should have a knowledge about the data tables and writing SQL query. So this is the um, database and the tables. Let me create a sample uh, uh, stretch report, which is also known as a, a screen report. Let me name this as a client. Okay, we'll name this as a client listing group wise. Then select the report tab as table. And on checking the checkbox, it allows uh, this report to be displayed on the screen. So user report. Yes, it's a UI report. Then so check the checkbox. Report category. Client. Then description. List of uh, clients with respect to groups. I have already created a sample uh, script. Let me use that script. 
Okay. Mm. Mm. So let me use the same script. copy that script then click on submit button okay Now go back to the client's report, then search for client list groupwise, click on the client list groupwise, then on clicking the run report, the reports get generated. So with a basic simple query, you would be able to create your own structure report. Uh, now coming back to the um, other custom reports, system manage reports create report you could also create a pento um, pento report which um, using the pento report a detailed um, a detailed creation of pento report and the custom report is readily available with a detailed explanation um, on this YouTube link. So now let me uh, go back to the um, report and pass it back to uh, Dana. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sangamesh. I always enjoy your demonstrations. Again, I'd like to remind everyone that if you have questions, put them out on the Answer Hub, and you will get uh, the most frequently replied, you know, the most frequent answers. If you want to hack around in the system, you have something you want to try, but you don't want to do it in your own system, use the demo system. Demo servers out there to hack around on. You won't break a thing. You can kind of test out an idea, and it's it's really useful. If you've not signed up for a user list yet, please do so. The community asks and answers questions on this user list, and we send out community notifications of meetings and so on. And we have chat support, so you have some good IM, and we have our main website, and of course our generic inbox, our email address. So, see you next time. Thanks for joining us.